Say hi to everybody. Hi. Just get in there. There you go. There you go. And you stay in there. Hello, hey there, Mission Control. We've got a uh, another beautiful day. Uh, you know, having that sunshine really gives you energy, and I think in these times, you know, that's a really good thing to have. So I hope you guys are getting your share of vitamin D. Got my list here today. Yesterday we were able to cross off the electric fence, uh, fixing it and, and repairing uh, 20 acres worth of fence. That was no fun. Uh, it was cool doing the video where we talk about all the tools. Uh, I spared you guys the, it was all day, all day walking the fence line. There's still one section where a post actually broke and I need to reset a post. I didn't get to it yesterday. I was just too tired, uh, but spared you the details of walking the fence. It, you can go back, I have another video from about two years ago where I did an electrical fence uh, repair if you really want to see what it's like. But anyway, so we got that done. What do we got today? Oh, uh, I also moved the water pipe uh, that was blocking the door, so we got that finished. Uh, what we need to do today, in this video, I am going to try to complete the following things. I'm going to try to get the door built for the chicken uh, pen. Um, that's going to be a sliding door. I'm able to repurpose some hardware, so we're going to try to get that done. We got to build the hen house. Uh, which is just the lane area. You'll see that. Uh, I bought that product. Uh, it's not sponsored. I bought it. So we'll put that all together and get that installed. I got to place all the electrical, replace the electrical, I should say. Uh, and we're going to try to get the, uh, uh, the, the solution for stopping water from going into the shop. That was a previous video uh, based on uh, subscriber uh, reviews and comments. Uh, suggestions, I should say, not reviews. Uh, I went with a solution. I'm going to show you guys that solution. It was one that uh, pretty much unanimous. Everyone said go with this. I didn't even know it existed, so it's a benefit of sharing everything. I'm going to try to get to that. And then the garage door opener is all busted, and because of the cow broke one of the sensors. And uh, I got new sensors. I played with it yesterday, but for some reason it didn't work, and I was just too tired to solve it. I also need to uh, get a rototiller assembled uh, to support Mrs. Martian out in the garden. And then uh, we got some dirt delivery coming. Oh my goodness, we got ah so much stuff. So much stuff. Oy, so stop talking, Jeff, and get to work. Oy. If you've been following along, you know what the first step of my project is. Get the tunes, baby. A little status update of the chickies here. They're getting big. We had, when we bought the place, prior owner had installed some sliding doors outside of the stalls um, and they kind of got destroyed over time so I reclaimed uh, the roller set from these uh, here and this is an old board uh, that came from it I actually have a sketched out design of what I want to do it's gonna be a very simple door I've never built one of these so there's there's plenty of different people out there who tell you how to build these right I'm gonna be building based off of what I have, and that's not necessarily the best thing to do, but given the financial situation, everything we spent on this, I'm gonna use what we have as much as we possibly can, right? So I have uh, a two by six. Uh, this one's not big enough. We actually need to go up to about 52 inches. Um, I'm gonna make sure the door is big enough to where uh, we can close it, and there's still a little overlap uh, on the side of the barn. I'll show you that when we get into it. That way, if the animals rub up against it, uh, it has something to hit on. Um, and stop it from moving, which I think is one of the problems with the old doors. Um, so we're going to cut some two by sixes uh, for the header and the footer. We're going to use uh, two by fours to run the length, and we're going to cover it with one sheet of uh, one sheet of plywood. And the reason we're going to do that and not two is because the uh, bolts that we have uh, will really only support uh, the one sheet. Uh, basically, I guess we just need to get this thing uh, cut and laid out and then we'll put some sheathing on and uh, go from there. So let's, uh, I would really love to get a new uh, belt, especially after I've worn this one so long. Uh, you know, now I know what I like and what I don't like about it. Uh, I like the heavy dutiness of this belt, but the cinch here is kind of a pain. It doesn't really get as tight as I need it to. I like the Velcro and the cinch together, um, but it sits down on your hips, you know, without those suspenders. And I guess I could just go buy some suspenders. I should just do that. It's a lot cheaper than a whole new belt. The DeWalt belt that somebody recommended really was awesome. And it was a hundred bucks, whereas the uh, 
Occidental Occidental uh, Leather Company, the one that like the pros buy. That's just uh, 300 bucks. I, I mean, uh, 300 bucks is quite a few sheets of plywood for me, you know, and uh, I got stuff I need to do with it. So I'd love to get one, but not in the cards right now. Well, this was put up so that we can turn this into a cow pen as well. So this keeps the horses out. Then we put this up a long time ago to keep all the other critters out when we decided to turn it into a chicken pen. So obviously we don't need this anymore. Uh, in addition to not needing it, we don't want it because uh, we got the chicks and we want the chicks to be able to run around in here and nothing to come in and get them and make this a lot safer area. I think that's one of the reasons why Betsy took off is because it was really windy and she could probably see the critters trying to, that were watching her. This orange stuff, for those that don't know, it's called baleen twine. And if you choose to uh, raise animals, you will find that it multiplies exponentially and it's extremely useful. So, uh, it's one of those things that you hate having around, but you love it when you need it. Uh, it's very useful after, for doing stuff like this, just tying stuff together. You don't have to go buy more string because you already have a bunch from all the hay bales. Now, for those that have been following along for a while, you know I've mentioned changing the way I clean stalls, right? To this point in time, we've always brought the tractor inside of the barn uh, slash shop, more shop now than barn. and. Uh, cleaned everything from the inside and it was a lot less muddy. It's one of the major reasons we did that. Um, in the winter, even though this is covered, this tends to get pretty muddy. Uh, so one thing I'm considering, and I said it was a project, is we gotta remove that panel back there. Uh, I guess it's not that big of a project, but we really gotta see about cleaning stalls from this side. Uh, in addition to removing that panel, we have to consider what we wanna do with this panel. Now the reason why is because um, this is the panel that separates the cow pen from the horses. And the reason we have that is, well, when we first got them, you kind of want them separate until they get to know each other because they are kind of different, you know. Um, but once they got to know each other, the reason we needed to have it separate is because the horses love to go in there and eat everything. Um, final reason, when we do Roundup, when it's time to get the cows and uh, get them AI'd, which hopefully someday we get a bull and we don't have to do that, um, bringing them into this small area here, it's all fenced off. It, it was pre-planned so that we can do a roundup very easily. We just drive them in here, which is no driving. We just whistle for dinner and they all come in or for breakfast, feed them. And then when they come out, we just back the trailer right up over there on the other side and uh, drive them right into the trailer. And then they go for a ride and they come back. So if we take this down, we need a different game plan for that. So a little bit of planning that needs to be done in order to make that all happen. I'm torn. Yeah, you know, I think in the summer, just removing that and cleaning stalls is fine, but then we gotta do something over here. What I could do, it looks like this is where the gate, this is a gated panel, meaning that you can actually walk through here. So if we actually move this over to here, we might have enough room that way and then just drive the tractor. Oh, 
You guys are awesome. Thanks for solving that for me. I really appreciate it. All right, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna bring that big door out here and uh, we're gonna try to hang it. I think we're gonna have to dig down a little bit here to make room for it to slide and then probably have to do some slide guide, Jimmy Riggin. You like it all. Man, we're actually pretty darn close to being right on. Right on, right on. That snip says my dad's horse. She's really pretty, beautiful. She's almost 20 years old now. She's getting her. She likes that spot. Yeah, that's a good girl. All right, here we go. Taking on a two person kind of job here on uneven ground. I love it. Need that to come up just a little bit. There we go. A little closer now. Okay. All right, I got the screws removed. I'm going to see what we can do here. Half that first track is in. Half that first rail is or wheel or whatever. Ugh. In. Now I there's one. Why is it so hard though? I think it needs to be adjusted. A little too tight up in there. There's a little screw up in there that you have to adjust, otherwise it hits the top of the rail. That's what we're adjusting. What we just adjusted. Oh yeah. Ha, ha, ha. Smooth. Like a the same. Alright. Watch those fingers. Oh, why'd you do that? Oh, that was the oh, that was the I think maybe I made it just an inch too long. Oh, that's running nice though. That's not bad. Look, a little critter. Oh, there it goes. There it goes. Yeah. So we got screws we could put up there. Yeah, I can just use the door to find where those uneven spots are. Looks like it's right there. There we go. Oh, I like you. So if I had a roller, I need to go look and see if I actually have a roller. Sniffs is watching me. I don't think I do. Normally you have a roller guide that keeps the bottom from kicking out. Oh, a hummingbird just showed up. You have these little, uh, oops, they don't go off the... Thing. All right, yeah, we definitely got to get that fixed. Yeah, so normally you'd have a guy down the, where's the camera? There's the camera. Normally you'd have a guy down at the bottom that keeps the door from kicking out. I'm gonna go see if I have one in the hardware store. Uh, but if not, then I'll probably just use a latching mechanism from the inside. I think you work way too hard. And I don't know what you're doing, but it's confusing me. You're making me tired. Oh, I can't take it. I'm gonna go take a nap. I want to apologize up front because the lighting is going to suck because we're going to go from light to dark here. Yeah. There's some problems with the metal here. A board has come out a little bit on the barn, but we should have about half an inch to three quarters of an inch of separation. Obviously, oh, well, of course, we have more. And that doesn't matter too terribly much. It's the bottom that really matters. If we got that little thing fixed, then we would be able to suck it in more. 
but honestly, I think we're good enough, beyond good enough. So we put a hook, there's already a hook right here. So if we put a chain on here, maybe move that thing down so that it uh, sucks that bottom in. Should probably do the same thing over here. All right, so I went to the hardware store and I found myself a little latch and eye bolt. There's already an eye bolt right here. So I just drilled a little pilot hole and now I'm just threading this guy in. Oh, it's like it's supposed to be there. It's like it was made to be there. So I fixed this over here so it's a lot tighter now. I don't think anything's gonna be able to crawl in, but I am a little worried about that. So I'm thinking of taking a chain here and putting some hooks down there so I can hook that back so that if a critter hears the little chickens in here, or chickens period, it doesn't come up and try to scratch its way in and pull the door open. Well, when that wind's blowing, you ain't open. That open very much. We finished uh, getting the door in. I got the locks or the chains put on it and uh, that worked out really nice. And now we are gonna be installing the Brower. Uh, Brower hen house here. It comes in lots of little pieces. I've been kind of dreading this because after I did the 3D printer install and that took days, you know, doing a, another multi-piece install just did not excite me very much. Uh, okay. So <clears throat> I'll put a link to this in down below for those that want to check it out right now betsy's been using the uh horse trough feeder hay hay holder to uh lay her eggs which is great uh because she's not laying them out in the middle of nowhere you know that's when that really sucks uh that one works so if we got this to replace her uh, current go-to location, which uh, she just, she gave us six eggs the last, last few days, which is great. She's actually working, working for a living. Two by fours look weenie. And here we go. At least they, they tried to standardize it. I mean, there's only a few different types of fasteners here. So that's not horrible. When people don't think about fasteners and they do a design, that really sucks. <laughs> How many different tools do you need? A look, kind of see what we're dealing with here now. The Taj Mahal of chicken coops. I guess it's not chicken coop. Leg alien, leg, leg aliens. <laughs> egg laying facility here. Mrs. Martian's still inside, so maybe I can get this done before she gets out here. That would be cool. And then she'll walk in and be like, oh my goodness, that is the most amazing, awesomest thing ever. Uh, so obviously it doesn't go that way. So here's number four. They're all labeled. Even if the instructions say to tighten it, just give it a little bit of time. Just got done with the backside, and in doing that, I realized that these panels are flipped from the where they should be. Uh, there's actually two and upside down, flipped and upside down. So there's there's two ledges, and uh, one of them's sharp, one of them's dull, and the dull one goes up top. And of course, I got that wrong. Uh, the drawing doesn't say sharp edge here or anything like that. It just shows a an edge. So that's kind of poopy. Gotta take it back off. This is why we don't tighten everything, folks. Remember, I just, just got done saying that too. Don't tighten everything because you're gonna have something when you're putting this all together that's gonna make you do what I've gotta do. Indiana, USA. Is that how you say that, guys? Hutton? Hutton? How you? It looks like Hutton to me. I don't know how else you say it. H O U G H T O N. I don't know, actually. And we gotta put the uh, 
trays in there. That's the, the roofs, but you can see in there, I'll have two of them. Let's see if I can do this without cutting myself. I got one whole preset with a screw in it, so I can just, there we go. And then, oh well. Betsy's out here and she's wondering what the heck all the, that isn't as high as it should be. Oh, here she comes. That's it. Well, I may have kicked her out, but I think she's going to be pretty happy with the new digs once we get it all set up. Let's see here. These are supposed to just... Whoa, come on, baby. Come on, baby. Sit in there just like that. Yeah. All right, get some straw up in there. Old nest here. I'm moving it over. Thinking maybe she'll figure it all out. Say hi to everybody. Hi. You're like, what are you doing? Are you going to eat me? There you go. Here. Check this out. Check this out. Check it out. You got to get in up in there. Don't fight me. Just get in there. There you go. There you go. And you stay in there. That's your egg. Yeah. 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 There you go. Check that out. Oh, no, just stay in there. Just stay in there for a little bit. There you go. Yeah. What do you think, huh? She's going to fly out as soon as I walk away, I know. Yeah, she's like, screw this. Maybe she's not. Huh? Not bad, huh? That's a huge upgrade. What are you complaining about? Look at that, you got a roost. locked outside. it's locked here and it's locked down there so critters can't open it from the outside nice. yeah so what do you think i love it it's so cool i put betsy's egg in this one <laughs> and i put betsy in there a few times already i made an improvement i know it's going to get mrs martian's approval here come on in you got to check this out oh what's that boom we got a light oh it's so nice Check the whole thing out. Look at all this. There we go. That looks nice, doesn't it? Where's my to-do list? Let me go grab my to-do list. I was doing really good. I was feeling really good about myself until I looked at this list. So what we're gonna do is install light in chicken pen. And then we're gonna cross it off. <laughs> now we gotta count that. So I still have three boxes of electrical to place. I have the uh, seals on the garage door to do. I have to fix the garage door opener. I have to make hoop houses. I have to fix the latch on our garden. And I still have to assemble the... Oh, I was feeling so good. <laughs> oh, there's so much to do. And it's almost hay season. Anyway, this turned out great. Uh, Brower is a company here uh, from Houghton. Did we decide Houghton? It's got to be Houghton, Indiana. Made in America. Uh, really nice. Uh, Betsy liked it. Uh, you took down her old nest. Uh, I decided to take it down uh, so I can have the light switch for this guy here. This worked out real nice. This uh, light that's up here is from my uh, father and mother-in-law. Uh, they gave it to me uh, quite a few years ago. 
and uh, I've been wanting to put it up here and I finally got a great spot for it. So guys, thank you for that. It's working great. Put an LED bulb in it though, uh, not an incandescent. Uh, LED burns uh, a lot less energy, it doesn't get as hot. And uh, here we have strong bedding, so you know, nice, cool to the touch. Uh, nothing, nothing going to start a fire in here, especially since we have straw all over the place. So, really happy with that. Not a bad day's worth of work. Uh, got the door on, got the stall, got this thing. This thing took forever. That's that's the big one. Got the lights in. Uh, so basically. We have just those three boxes of electrical to place and then all the stalls will be completely done. And this thing is basically ready for the chicks when they're big enough. Uh, we don't want to take them out of the office or the shop area there yet because um, we have cats. And the cats, we're leaving these stalls open here uh, so that the chickens can fly and, and, and go outside and do all their stuff. They can come back to a nice safe area that nothing else can get into. Um, but with the cats, the, the cats could definitely find those little chicks and they'd have one heck of a little dinner. Uh, so uh, we don't want that until they get big enough. But, uh, man, you know, there's, you do projects and actually, yeah, no, one, two, three, four. I have four boxes to place. Oh. You do projects and you look at it and you're like, you know, that's nice. I was just talking to Mrs. Marsh and I was telling her like, you know, the more of these projects I do, the better I get. And she's saying this is some of the best work she's seen for me. So that means something. And on that note, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe. Uh, ring the little bell so you get notified when we put out new videos. And don't forget you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and on Instagram for some more up-to-date stuff. Uh, and if you'd like to support what we're doing, uh, you could do so through Patreon. Let us know what you think about channel membership because we're still kicking that around. And uh, we'll see you in the next video. This is a real Martian. Out.